All right, so you can see this screen. So we were here earlier. We have simulated a saw device and uh, have seen the eigen frequencies. Next, I'm going to uh, generate some results such as displacement, admittance, so this kind of thing. So for that, what I'll do, I'll just add one more study that is that is frequency domain. And in this, I'll plot uh, admittance with respect to frequency or displacement with respect to frequency. And for that, uh, what I'll do, I have added this already. In study, two, in study two, you can see this is there, frequency domain. And uh, I'll have to add a terminal boundary for this, okay? Through terminal boundary, I'll provide the voltage or power, uh, whatever is required for calculating the thing. So I'll right click on the electrostatics and use the terminal boundary. So terminal is there. I click on this. So from here I can change the various value. So first I'm providing it a voltage. Voltage. To which uh, point I have to mention it here. So what I'll do is select this one. Uh, earlier I kept it floating. So right now I provide it a terminal boundary condition and one volt. And floating, I'll kind of uh, disable. I'll disable that. Okay, so this is done. One volt is given. And uh, that's it from here. And floating potential, I'll just disable. Okay. Now, I'll do the study. Frequency domain. So in this, I'll select the unit. So I kept it like megahertz. And here I need to provide the range. So from here I can provide the start, stop, and the steps. So I have already entered these things. After this, what I'll do, I'll just compute this. So yeah, we are trying to plot the admittance first. Okay, so it takes time. Once it is done, it is showing the stress stress plot okay but uh, we are not interested in this we want to plot admittance so for that what i'll do just click on the result press the right click and press the 1d plot group in that again click on global okay so for, once you go to global you get the expression from expression you can select the y11 that is admittance so for y11 it will be there in the electrostatics okay one thing one mistake we have made so from here we need to select study 2 okay because we are using study 2 for this plot all right so now i'll go to global now if i see electrostatic i will find the terminal so that's what i was looking earlier but i couldn't find because the study one was selected in that global. Now study two is selected and terminal is there. And if I further expand this, I'll find the admittance. So this is the admittance, but I need to plot the absolute admittance. So I write ABS and then plot this. So this is frequency axis and this is the admittance. And it is showing the peak at the resonant. Okay. And uh, I also would like to plot the real of this. So real and imaginary I can plot. Real will show zero. Imaginary. Imaginary is this. Okay. And real was zero because the q we have selected is infinite that's why real is zero because we are not we have not taken any losses okay so that's how we can plot it okay so next i want to plot the displacement with respect to frequency so what i'll do for time being i'll just remove this graph i delete this okay now it is fine so to plot displacement just right click on this and select the point graph 
and in that we need to select the point so I'm selecting this one and then plot so this is the displacement in micrometer with respect to frequency so at uh, resonance it is showing the maximum displacement so that's how we can plot the admittance absolute admittance and the displacement okay so here uh, I would like to mention if uh, like we have plotted the real and the imaginary part of the admittance earlier but the real part was zero it is because the Q was infinite so if we select some Q if we select some loss so that real part will come will become something and the imaginary part then will get changed accordingly okay so in practical cases it's not infinite Q is not infinite you need to take some Q say 500 okay so, so just use that and you can do this so that's it in this video thank you